Did you guys know, on a side note, Canada Post is now trying to have drive through post offices. That's like the biggest oxymoron since they invented the word military intelligence. What's the point of me driving to pick up my mail? The point of me getting mail is that I don't have to leave my house to get it. Hi, finally, mail, been waiting all day. So I did my face this morning, except for my eyes, and I have to say, it's still looking pretty good. And yep, it's my Joe Fresh. And I really think that argan oil is like the thing to make things look great. So I have the, the Joe Fresh primer, matte primer, and uh, the Joe Fresh wear. And this is the color almond. And that one has argan oil. And if anybody paid attention, and some of them do, I bought new um, blushes and bronzers because I wanted to go away from the patchiness of the e.l.f. So this is, you know, Physician's Formula. And um, it swashed lighter but when I put it on my face. It was the dark that I wanted it to be. And then for a contour, um, it's another Physician's Formula there. So I got all this at Winners yesterday, $7.99. And I'm very happy. It feels extremely smooth. And even when I touch my face, like I can, my face actually feels really nice to touch. It doesn't have that makeup y feely. Is that a word? It doesn't have that makeup y feeling. It feels like I put a nice moisturizer on. And the setting spray that I have today is also, you know, Fish Smooth Formula. And that's about it. So I didn't do the rest of my face because I knew that the glam bot was coming in. But before we touched the glam bot though, there was something else in the mail and it was from AliExpress. So you can get quality things again for pretty cheap. So it came in this nice little packaging with the brand name of it on there. And by touching it, it's, uh, it's a cuticle pusher tool to do my nails because I do them. I buy all my stuff off AliExpress to do my own nails. And I, I learned by watching a lot of YouTube videos. I also learned everything else by YouTube. Um, but you can tell it's, um, you can see their names on there. But it's thick and it's heavy. Like, this isn't going to break. This is very well made. And I just checked and it was 79 cents Canadian. So, yeah. I mean, I, I waited actually not that much. I only waited three weeks. That is not bad at all. Not at all. So, before we open up what's in the Glambot packages, I'm going to read to you what is supposed to be in there. And I'll quickly go over the prices, but I'll review them when I look at them there. So, in this order, I mean, it was two days in a row because it was the big sale. I am supposed to have a Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Eyeshadow Palette Volume 2. which was originally $47. It's still $47 on Sephora. Now I'm talking Canadian dollars, by the way. But it's on sale at Tarte.com for $31 US. With shipping exchange and stuff in Canada, it would come to the same price. But I paid $14.40. That's taxes, Canadian dollar, everything. The second Tarte is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea After Dark Clay Eye and Cheek Palette. I've been looking at this one for a long time. That one again was also originally $47, but it's not something that they make because it was part of a collection. So if you want to buy it new, the only place I've been able to find it new was on eBay. I don't trust buying makeup from eBay. You, I really don't. Um, but anything that you can find there is $100 or more. That's a lot. But I paid $27.60 Canadian. That's shipping and handling and taxes everything. And then there's also supposed to be a Too Faced White Chocolate Chip Palette. Which is out of stock, but still on sale or for sale at Sephora at um, $32. But I paid $18.20. That's with taxes and shipping. So if I give you taxes at Sephora, that doesn't... If I give you a price at Sephora or off the internet that doesn't include the taxes, if there's an exchange rate or if 
there's any kind of delivery fee. And then there's a last one called uh, from Lorac, and it's the Smoky Eyeshadow and Blackberry Truffle. And that one's just a $10 value because it's part of a bigger Christmas kit they had a few years ago. So each, it only has four shadows in it, so each one of the four, I think they're called the candy something, and it's $10. I paid $8.50, which basically I paid for the same thing. And then there's a blush in there from Makeup Geek. Um, and it's, again, $10, and I paid $5.20. So everything that I ordered from Glam Bot, like I always do, because I've ordered for them before, more than once, and uh, if I recall correctly, at least two or three, three of my palettes had never even been used. One of them, this one. So this Stila palette I got off Glam Bot, and there was three colors that had been touched. You can see the fingerprint in like three of them. Nobody ever even tried to use it at all. So when you pick 80% fill and, you know, good condition, sometimes you get something that's never even been opened or used. So I have a good hopes for this, but we are going to open it together. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I put my hair up because, I mean, it's pretty, but it's in the way. And I get my little baby hairs out of my face. And, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a cat ear kind of person. I'm not exactly an angel. So we're just going to go with this. And please ignore the construction sounds up there. In Moncton, they like to build a lot of apartment buildings with nobody to rent them to. <laughs> um, but while I was putting my hair up, I also found this, which was another thing I got from Glambot. And I've used it a few times, but when I got it, it had never even been touched. Like no one even swatched it. It's brand spanking new. So, that's why I'm not that scared to look at all this. So, we're going to go down the list. Even though I'm super excited to see what the white chocolate chip one looks like. Because that one's a fairly new thing. So, we're just going to take everything out of these bags. So, by the way... When you buy from Glambon, there is no custom fees in Canada. I think it's because it's not new. So they, I don't know the whole rigmarole of why, but you just don't. So that's a nice thing to know that you're not going to have any extra charges. Like what they charge you on the site, because you can click on the site on the bottom part if you want the prices to be shown in Canadian dollars or in the American dollars or UK or wherever you're in the world. So when I check out my taxes, my shipping, everything is included in the price. So I never pay anything extra when it comes to my door, which is pretty neat actually. So they all come all wrapped up like this. And there's always someone's initial to say that they wrapped it. So, um, okay, I'm gonna look at the first list because I can kind of see through it. So I know this is the first one. Pretty sure this is the Tarte Rainforest, the Sea Eyeshadow Palette, Volume 2. Like I said, um, I'm gonna cut through this. It's for sale. I mean, if you're gonna go to Sephora and buy it, it'd be $47. And I paid $14.40. So let's see if it was worth it. We're gonna see it together. And before I go any further, I mean, yes, this packaging looks pristine. There doesn't even look to be a scratch on it. Oh, there's a couple scratches. Oops. I'm giving you my opinion. I'm, you know, bringing you guys ways to save money. It doesn't mean that this would work for you or not. It's up to you to make that decision. I'm bringing you what I do, how I find ways of saving money. And then you can take that and do whatever you want with it. If you think it's for you, go for it. If you don't, don't. You know, that's just, I'm not endorsing anything. This isn't something that I'm paid to do. This is just because I actually like Glambot. This is my third order with them. I will put a code down there, like in the comment section, that you can use. And it gives you $10 off your first 
purchase with them. And yeah, it gives me some points for, but I don't need points for stuff. I had so many with Elf that it made a problem, so I just don't want them. But I mean, if you can see, if you get 10 bucks, go for it. So let's take a look at this. Um, I have a feeling that it's um, probably going to be really good. I thought it wasn't touched at all, but it has been a little bit. They did sanitize it because I can see it. I will sanitize it again myself just to make sure. And it's really easy to do that. You just take a bottle, a spray bottle with isopropyl alcohol, 70% or higher. If you want anything higher than 70% here in Moncton area, you have to buy it at um, Lawton's. Lawton's is where you get it. Because I also use that on my electronic stuff. But I'm very happy with paying $14.40 for this. It's You can tell that it's been used I and mean, touched around a little bit. But other than that, I mean, it says 80% fill. There is more than 80% of the original product left. For sure. But I'm very happy. Play on the swatch it now. Because I just want to see. Oh my gosh, they feel so creamy. They are. And I'm barely, barely touching them. And you should, the color payoff is just crazy. So I am graduating away from e.l.f. Cosmetics. And wow. So I swatched this color and then this one and then this one. So I barely touched them. And I do have color. That is amazing. Amazing. So this one, I'm happy with it. And I need to get some makeup wipes to take this off. Get to the next one. Be right back. Since I need a makeup wipes, we are going to test the Equate, which is the Walmart version of makeup wipes. Because they were on sale, and I bought some. I mean, you're never going to know if something's worth something until you try it. And it was like a couple bucks. So let's see. Yeah, they feel nice and stretchy. Oh, yeah, they do a good job. Yep, so Equate Makeup Wipes, good thing. However, buying those huge packs for $6.99 at Winners is still better economically for you. But Makeup Wipes from Equate will work. Put that off. Now, this is the one I've been eyeing for a very long time. It is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. After Dark Clay Eye and Cheek Palette. Hmm. I'm really, really nervous. I shouldn't be, though, because I have had one time that I was not satisfied with the fill of 80%, and they did easily give me a refund. However, I had, I guess, enough proof. You have to send the pictures and stuff. So this looks great from the get-go. Um, not a scratch again, and the little jewel is still in there see it haha ha. the back part no scratches maybe you have to send no that's not true they will buy them with the outside scuffed and scratched because I do have you know the Kat Von D interstellar that was used but. oh wow this has barely been touched you can still see the tart imprint in the blush wow I'm super happy. I paid, you know, taxes and shipping included $27.60 for this. Definitely worth it. These are the colors that I love, that I like. Um, cranberries and browns. So the only thing that was really used out of this, a little bit of the highlight. I don't think they touched the blush. I think it's the glam ball people that cleaned it. Yeah, uh, the cranberry color down here and a little bit of the contour. It doesn't smell like anything. But I am extremely happy with this. So, why buy new? Why? Personally, for me, I don't have a problem with that. But I do understand how some people may get creeped out or eked out. And that's your personal thing. But these two right here, just these two right here are $100 together. And I paid $75 for the entire thing I'm showing you. So, I'm just saying you can save money on name brand stuff. And we're going to try the blush to see if um, that's any good. 
I've heard of all these brands before, but it's not in my tax bracket to be able to afford them. So I'm trying it this way. So far, I have never been, you know, like I said, I had one that I wasn't happy with it. And it might have happened during shipping, though. It was just that I had a, a color that was broken half. But they gave me money back. So just don't take advantage of the fact that they have good customer service. Because then they'll just stop. But And again, this looks pristine shape. It sells for $10. I paid $5.20. And I don't, it's been tucked a little bit, I mean, but is there 80% of it still in there? There's more than 80%. There's like 98.99% .99 of it still in there. Very happy. I do want to know how pink it is. Oh, it's pretty pink. Yes, look at that pretty pink comes out to be. That is beautiful, beautiful. I learned that a long time ago. Um, Lise Watier, who makes, you know, high-end makeup and is from Quebec, had a TV show on um, a Quebec station back when I was a teenager. Like, so that was, what, 15, 20 years ago? I would come home from school and that would be on at 4.30 and I'd watch that show every day. So I've been into makeup for a really long time, even though I've always been tomboyish and... You didn't think I want to wear makeup. So the last two that I have is the chocolate chip palette, white chocolate chip, and the Lorac. I'm saving the white chocolate chip for the last because I'm either going to be super surprised and happy or super surprised and bummed out. So I'm thinking so far I might be happy. Though. This is the Lorac. So it's a Lorac Blackberry Truffle Seduction Smoky Eyeshadow Palette. So. This one, like I said, you can tell this one's been worn a little bit. It's been, you know, in a drawer. So let's open it for you first to see. Now, I can't see my monitor right now. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's see. Oh, wow. Barely used. And I love these dark, dark colors. I love dark colors. What else do you want me to say? Maybe it's like dark like my soul. That's probably why I don't drink coffee. There's just too much darkness. Because I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't know. I like, I don't know. I just like dark colors. It's just me. So this is a very pretty shimmery white. And then you have a purplish color. So I think this is where they call it, you know, blackberry. And then this one is a little bit of a teal gray. And then this is like a dark gray blue. Well, yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Me naming colors. I don't know. If anybody is watching this that is from the United States, I don't even spell the word color the same way you do. So. <laughs> All right. So we're going to look at the white chocolate chip. I'm so either going to be impressed or not. Because, like I said, I just checked this morning. It is still on the Sephora website as one of the new arrivals, but it is out of stock. And if you want it, you have to pay $32. I paid $18.20. All right, so from the outside, looks, you know, perfectly fine. Back part's fine. Ooh. I'm not good at opening things. Well, mm, it smells like chocolate. There's like two colors that were touched. They were repressed by the people at Glambot. But I'm okay with that. So if you look closely at how these two here aren't as filled, I'm going to say that they repressed it. And I'm not mad at that whatsoever. I am totally happy with that. Because again, I didn't pay full price. And with the amount of makeup that I have, Am I ever going to get to the bottom of these? Probably not. So, for paying half price, I mean, if you factor in, you know, taxes and whatnot that I would pay if I bought it at $32, I'm super happy with this. And it smells like chocolate. Yeah, it does. So, that is my Glambot haul. 
And I am going to go play around because I've been waiting to play around with my eyes all day. And I think I'm going to go with the two Tarte palettes. I don't know. I'm going to play around and do a look and I'll come back and show you what I've done and tell you which one I used. Thanks. I'm back. This is what I created in the little bit of time because I'm really hungry. And I'm going to have like a bazillion years to play with this. So on my lips is the Too Faced Melted Latex. I really love this color. It is, can I see it? I don't know what color it is. I don't know, but it's this beautiful pink. I'm not usually a dark pink kind of girl, but this just, I love it. And what we did with the eyes is we played with both of the Tarte palettes. So we have both of these. Um, this one up here was the base. And then we darkened it with this one. And then we went in with this one a little bit. And then I went in with a little bit of the cranberry. Because I have to try cranberry. I can't not. And then a little bit of this one right there, that's all across the lid. And then after that was on the lid, we put a little gold as an accent. And then I used this to contour. Yay! And then I took a little bit of the first layer of the, what had been there all day off. And, but first, I did try this Makeup Geek. Now this is like a really bright pink, but it's beautiful. It's so smooth and buttery. It's exactly, it's great that it's really bright. That's fine. I've come to learn that. Duo fiber brushes. They work great when they're dry and you just want a little bit of color. So put that under there. So there's this. And then, you know, the powder stuff and the setting, whatnot, kind of dunk, dunk, not thumbs it down, but. I don't know. It's not as bright. And then we did, you know, contour with this. And this is the, it's a contour shade. It, it does actually work for me. And then I use this as a highlight. And this is the look I have right now. I set all that with this Tarte Amazonian clay. Um, yeah, I got this one from Glambot as well. I paid $8.50 for it. But, can I not make a mess? I can't even open it. I'm going to make a mess. Yes, I've since dropped it, and now it's in pieces. And it's a loose powder now. I actually like it better that way. I don't know. So, we tried them all. I didn't really have enough time to include the chocolate chip, the white chocolate chip, or the Lorac yet. But I only have one face and two eyeballs, and I got a whole lifetime of playing around this stuff. So, my personal conclusion is I'm extremely happy with what I got from Glambot. Again, the total value, if you're gonna look up to buy these yourself, is about $146 plus tax. So with tax in Canada or New Brunswick, it would be $168. And that's not including if there's any kind of exchange because some of the prices I can only find them in American. But then there's also like shipping and delivery and, and whatnot. So I mean, without shipping and delivery, let's go with 170 for all of this. And I paid $75. Taxes, shipping, everything included, nothing more. So I saved $100. I saved $100 and I got a bunch of name brand makeup and the colors that I like and what I want by just waiting for it to not be the newest arrival. And even at that, even at that, the white chocolate chip is still considered new arrival at Sephora. And I found it on Glambot. So it's up to you if you want to do that or not. It takes about a month for it to get all, you know, by the time you buy it to the time you get it in the mail. That's if Canada Post doesn't go on strike. That's all the story. I support them. They have too much of a route. They work way too hard. Yes. So I understand the employee's side of Canada Post. And... I'm all for it. If they go on strike because they're going to get better services and better everything, 
I'm here for you and if I have to wait and I'm going to get things late or whatnot because they're standing up for their rights, for their right to be home to have supper with their family and not work till 8.30 darkness and whatnot. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'm cool with that. You guys do your, your thing. You do your human rights. You stand up for yourself. I'll stand up for me over here. And the only reason I buy things online is because they're things I can wait for. So if it takes a while, it's okay. So with that, I mean, I'm really happy with all of everything here. I don't have hands to hold everything. But it's up to you if you would like to do this or not. If you do, like I just said, there will be the discount code on the bottom. And it gives you $10 off, so that's a little bit more than shipping. Because the shipping with Glambot is about $5 Canadian. So it gives you a little bit off and no shipping if you make the math that way. If you don't want to use the code, don't. I don't care. I don't care. I'm just letting you know that you can get 10 bucks off. That's all about it. So I'm happy. And if you guys are creeped out by the fact that somebody previously owned this, then it's cool. Don't. If you're like me, you don't care because it's been sanitized and whatnot. Go for it. And I will also link the video that Kristen Leanne, who's my OG YouTube person, she's the reason I started looking at makeup stuff because she's just pretty. And she's got the best personality ever. But she's also very pretty, which helps. But not the point. Okay. Personality shines through. You know? Anyway. Um, she actually did a review herself of Glambot makeup. And I'll put that down there and you can watch that if you want as well. But with all that, I must say goodbye. For now, because I'm hungry. And I really want to eat some spaghetti. And... See you later.